Hello Virgo, welcome to your reading. This is going to be a general love message for new love, someone who's brand new in your life or who will be coming in. I already posted the past love reading, so make sure you check that out. But just remember that energy is fluid, the roles could be reversed, and only take what you feel resonates with you. And whenever you find this reading is the right time for you. If you felt drawn to watch it, then Spirit has a message for you. Okay, so if you are coming back, welcome back. If you are new here, welcome. Just so you're aware, I do not read reversals. So if a card comes out in the reverse, I will flip it upright. This is just how I've always read tarot. Just so you're aware. So let's see, spirit. How does this new person feel about Virgo? Okay, so we have the seven of wands. How does the new person feel? We have the Queen of Wands, could be dealing with a Fire Sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. We have the Wheel of Fortune. Hmm. We have Temperance, Sagittarius energy. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. What is this? The Tower, Scorpio energy. Hmm. Someone here, Virgo, is, how do I put this? It almost feels, Virgo, like someone here is like trying to stop themselves from sort of admitting that they are attracted to you or that they um, admire you in some way or that you do something really well. It's like they're, tr they're why? They feel like it's gonna cause like a, a rupture here in something. Tell me more about the tower. Oh, king of wands, queen of pentacles, the chariot, the nine of swords. Okay, someone here, Virgo, feels like the two of you are a match in some way, shape or form. I mean, the attraction that this person has to you is like through the roof. There's uh, a lot of chemistry here. There's a, a lot of things that you do that this person admires. Like there's things about you that they just are like, that just makes sense. But I feel like there's another energy involved here that this person is um, attached to in some way. I don't know if this is like a work situation. So they feel like a work relationship wouldn't be allowed or... Um, There's like a mother figure or someone in charge. Uh, maybe it's just like a feminine energy here that this person feels like, they feel like this would cause like a, a rupture in something here. It's like they're trying to fight their own feelings here, but this person can't stop thinking about it. I don't know if this person's at a distance from you with this chariot card. Um, It just feels like this person feels like there's a there would be a lot of obstacles to overcome for the two of you to come together. You see how this king came out? This king is not facing the queen of wands, right? But the the queen of pentacles is right behind them. It's almost like there's some other energy that this person feels like is kind of watching their back. Like if they were to make a move, this person knows about it. Again, could be a work thing. It doesn't have to be just one singular person. It could just be like my work is keeping an eye on me or something like that. Um, but it could be another person here that they feel is kind of like breathing down their neck a little bit. So even though they have this very strong attraction to you, they're kind of trying to ignore it. They're trying not to like embrace it or um, like make a move on it or acknowledge it that much because if they do, it's going to cause this uproar. But this person can't stop thinking about you and can't stop thinking about this situation. So tell me more about the Queen of Pentacles. 
Okay, we've got the Queen of Cups. So there's definitely more than just you and this person involved in this connection here. Um, I feel like this one wants to come out. The Seven of Pentacles. It's something this person has already invested in, right? And I do feel like there is a level of care here, but it's... Hmm... This person feels like if they were to go for it with you, it would just cause disruption here in something else they've already invested in. So they're trying to like ignore their own feelings here. But at the same time, it's almost like there's a sense of like inevitability here. Like this person feels like they can't ignore this forever with that Wheel of Fortune. Like that they're, they were meant to meet you for some reason. They were meant to come into your energy for some reason here. Um, it's almost like they feel like they have to be patient a little bit here, or this person might even ask you to be patient with them regarding whatever the situation is. So interesting energy there. We have Scorpio, Sagittarius, Aries, and Leo and Cancer coming through. But if you don't hear their sign, it doesn't mean they're not here. Um, let's see their actions towards you in the next two to four weeks. Could be a little less, could be a little more. What actions? The Four of Pentacles. The Ten of Pentacles. The Knight of Wands. So someone here definitely wants something here with you, um, Virgo. That's for sure with this Ten of Pentacles. Well, tell me about the Ten of Pentacles. Like this person wants to, I mean, this can be commitment. This can be, you know, I want you in my life for a long time. I want to build with you. Yeah, Two of Cups. This person definitely wants to come together here with you. They feel like a pull towards you. They feel drawn towards you here. But there, I have to be honest with you, Virgo. There's something else, some other situation or some other person that they can't let go of completely. Like it's like if they're going to come towards you, this other energy is not far behind. Um, or it's going to catch up with them or something. So it might kind of feel like this person's kind of playing the field a little bit. Like they're hot and cold with you or like, one day they're all in and then the next day they're more, excuse me, paying attention to the other connection or the other situation. Again, could just be work. It doesn't have to be that it's another person or another romantic person um, because I do love reading. So love can be romantic. It can be friends. It can be family. Um, but this person feels a very strong pull towards you here. Uh, check out my soulmate reading if you haven't already. I'll post a link for you. But yeah, this person wants to come together here with you. They they feel like the two of you are meant to do something together here. Like it's kind of faded in this person's eyes. They're like, I was this is divine timing. Or, you know, they might not use that word, but they see the, a greater purpose to the two of you coming together. Um, but tell me about the Knight of Wands. Because again, this can be like an in and out kind of energy. Uh, three of Wands. I feel like it's this one. The High Priestess, Pisces Energy, and the Hierophant. It's almost like I kind of get this energy from this person. Like they do want commitment from you. They do want something here from you. But they almost feel like... Usually this would be coming out with the Seven of Swords. But it feels like they want to keep it hush-hush. It feels like they want to keep this on the down low for some reason. Like they do want this with you, but they, they, there's that other energy is like not having it, not okay with it, but they can't help how they feel. Like they feel something strong here with you. They can't ignore this. Tell me about the four of pentacles. Cause this is what they're holding on to page of story. Okay. So they feel like who, someone's spying on them. They feel like whatever this energy is, is keeping an eye on them. Like they can't. They can't do fully what they want to do with you, which is have some sort of commitment here. Um, the way that they want to out in the open because someone else will be really upset about it or some other group will be really upset about it. So uh, this could be, you know, this doesn't always come through in readings, but I'm going to acknowledge it. Like if this person is you know, exploring their sexuality, for instance, and they're dating or they want to date you or they're interested in you. Maybe their family or their religious group or their friend group wouldn't agree with that for whatever reason, right? Like something like that. Like it could be that. Like I feel like this person feels like they're going to be like they're being watched. Like they have to be very careful. So yes, they're coming. Like tell me about the two of cups because this is them coming towards you here. Yeah, knight of pentacles. So this is someone who feels like they have to take it slow and steady with you. 
but this person is legit. Like they are loyal. They are honest to you. They are committed to this connection. They, they feel like it needs to go slow though, because someone else, if they rush it too much and they, it goes too fast, that other person or those other people um, might find out about it and then they'll have to pull back. Like this is, they feel sort of like restrained in a bit, in a way, I should say. Um, but there's, there's definitely, you know, a connection coming here, a union coming here with this person, even if there's no one in your life right now, it's going to be a slow build though. Um, but this person does want commitment. I mean, we have Knight of Pentacles, the Hierophant, the Ten of Pentacles. They, these are all telling me that this person does want commitment. There's just something else that they're sort of catering to a little bit here. Um, so again, could be Pisces, could be Taurus. Virgo, Capricorn, Scorpio, Cancer, Sagittarius. But if you don't hear their sign, it doesn't mean they're not here. Let's see their true intentions, though. What is this person's true intentions? Ooh, we got the Sun, Leo energy. We got the Three of Cups. We got that Knight of Pentacles again. So, I mean, this person, it looks good. It looks like this person says what they mean. They mean what they say. Um, ooh, we got the Ace of Wands and the Devil. All right, well, I'm going to clarify that. There's definitely, they feel tempted by you. Again, because of the King and Queen of Wands coming out too, like there's a very strong physical attraction this person has to you. Very like, so much chemistry. They can't really explain it. It's like off the charts. They feel very, very, very tempted by you. They almost feel like if they were to just go ahead and spark this up with you, like they would be committing, you know, I'm not, I don't like to get into religion or anything, but they'd be like committing a sin is what I heard. Like, it would be sinful for them to do that. I don't know what that is. Um, I'm going to pull a couple more on that. But this person does want to build with you. They do want to be a dependable energy. You know, I feel like this person wants to make you happy. I feel like they want to have a good time here. But I have to be honest, this Three of Cups, like it's like they want to have fun and, you know, um, like I said, have a good time with you. But there, that other energy is, they. it's like always in the back of their mind. I don't know what, what it is, but... Um, tell me about the Ace of Wands, the Devil, Ten of Cups. This person's very tempted by you. Very, very, very tempted by you. Like, they almost feel like it's too good to be true. They almost feel like a little bit of, like, obsession here with you, Virgo, because it's like they've never felt this before. But there's something, like, forbidden about you or about this connection. Um... I don't know what that is. Let me know in the comments. Like, obviously it's not gonna resonate with everyone, but that's how it's coming through to me. Um, th this person wants you. They're, tell me more about the devil. Th there could be something to do with drinking here. Um, it doesn't have to be. We have the wheel of fortune. Yeah, again, this person feels like you came into their life. Uh, they might not say divine timing or um, this is a faded connection or soulmates or, but this, this person feels like there's a deeper purpose and meaning to the two of you coming together here. They might even feel like something that they're bound to, you're here to help them, right? They can see the light now kind of deal with you. Like they feel like they understand more about where their life is going or what they want um, because something else is could have sort of influenced them heavily and made them made them believe like what they wanted and then they're like wait a second that's not actually what i want like it feels like it could be like like a group um so like maybe it's family beliefs or like i said i don't like to get into like religion or anything like that but it's like a could be like a group belief um traditions uh, cultural norms I, I don't know it could be a, a number of things right but um this person's very tempted by you very tempted by you what is the potential outcome with Virgo and this person? We have the world. We have the emperor, Aries energy. Tell me more. We have the two of swords. We have the five of cups. You know, this person wants to make a decision. I see the three of pentacles again on the bottom. Did the three of pentacles come out? No, I guess it didn't. But the, okay, I said that for a reason. Three of Cups did come out because it, it feels like this third energy is still influencing them quite a bit. It's like this person wants to just step into their masculine to just go ahead and make a decision, but they feel really bad. 
there's a lot of guilt here. There's a lot of shame. So it could even be that this group or these people or this person in their life makes them feel really bad for not choosing them anymore or for not following what they should be following or something like that. Um, this person's struggling a little bit. Like it's like they want to step into their power, but they're having a hard time doing so. And it kind of leaves you feeling like it's a bit of a cycle with this person. It's like, are we, are we going to move forward or are we going to keep doing what we're doing? Are we going to be in this, like, it's just going to take time, energy forever, or, you know, when are we going to take that next step, right? This person wants you, but it's taking a while to get there. Um, how will Virgo know who this is? How will Virgo know? Oh, okay. We have the Queen of Swords. We have the Page of Cups. We have the Nine of Wands. You know, I feel like this person... Mm, they are... Like, they do feel bad. They feel bad for the situation, I will say. But you could almost feel like they kind of handle it immaturely at times with this Page of Cups. Like, they don't fully apologize or they don't really get the... Like, like how it's affecting you that much. Um, I feel like this person kind of shuts down a little bit like they feel like this kind of came through with the past love reading like they, they're almost like they avoid conflict a little bit or like avoid issues they kind of just get cold and shut down a little bit um it's like they just don't really know what to do with the page of cups they're like I want to fix it but I don't know how to fix it and you might even be telling them well here's practical ways to like go about the situation and they're like then they just start to feel bad again with the five of cups. They feel like, I don't, I don't know if it's the right decision or not. Any advice for Virgo? Any advice? Three of pentacles. I knew that was going to come up for a reason. The page of wands. The three of swords. You're getting three, three now. I, I honestly, I feel like Virgo, it, your advice is kind of like, just be aware that even though there is a strong pull here, there is a strong connection between the two of you. I feel like as soon as it kind of starts up with this person and there's like interest shown, it kind of ends just as quickly, at least for now, that's the energy that's coming through. It, it feels like this third energy three, three here coming out is, is really heavily influencing this person's mindset, their decisions, what they have to do, what they should do, what they shouldn't do. Um, so just be aware of that. Like you don't want to get your heart broken. You don't want to like fall for this person just to be like, oh, well, it's not going to work because this other, you know, people, other group or person or whatever is, is so heavily involved. So just be aware of that um, is what I would say your advice is. Let's see if we can get any messages from here. Any messages for Virgo? Oh, they're asking me to go to this deck first. Messages for Virgo, please, spirit. Okay, we got key on a ring, many options, unconventional, one night stand, string along. So you might feel like this person's stringing you along. For some of you, this could be a third party situation, like there is someone else and they're not making a decision, right? And they have all these options. Okay, karmic relationship just came out. Resentments and triggers, perception, intensity, and letting go, turmoil, and fleeting. They might still be attached to a karmic in some way, shape, or form. Um, and then we got backstabbing, heartbreak and pain, separation and loss, deception and lies, shocking attack. So this might not, this might be a situation where it's like, it's not never, it's just not right now, right? Obviously, who's to say what's to come, right? Um, this is the sh snapshot of energy right now, Virgo. It just feels like there's not just you and this person involved. There's there's someone else or a group or like more people here. Okay, that's a lot, but guardian, a lost loved one watches over you. Health, health issues could arise. Distance, you and your partner may be physically or emotionally distant. Vacation, you will be traveling soon and challenges make a decision work on inner healing so obviously ideally when we do um or we look into new love we want it to be the one the i mean it's not to say this person isn't the the one but there's definitely obstacles here virgo so it's up to you to decide um we did get success so i mean i feel like that it's going to be a win-win for you no matter what 
Uh, we got take action. That feels almost like career. I'm gonna pull on that. Um, and then you got perfect timing. You did get the wheel of fortune twice. So I mean, and I see no need to worry. So even if you're not gonna be with this person right now, you are meeting them right now for, for a purpose, for a reason. Tell me about take action and success. Temperance, patience, and the fool taking a leap of faith here. It feels like career. Yeah, look at that, king of pentacles. So be patient, but take that leap of faith when it feels good to. Tap into your intuition. It's like This is strictly a career message coming through here. Virgo, I feel like it's going to pay off really well, even if it's like having that conversation with your boss or your manager or whatever to like talk about that promotion or that raise or that new position or whatever it might be i feel like go for it because it's really going to pay off king of pentacles you got success and take action right so you like there's a there's a need for patience here but if you wait too long for it to take that leap of faith it won't come like i feel like that the timing is perfect here um and you might be sitting there saying well how will i know you, you you'll know intuitively if you keep thinking about it if you keep thinking i should have that conversation or i should say that thing or i should start that business or i should make that phone call that's your intuition telling you because it's really going to pay off here i mean the king of pentacles is a really good card to come out when it comes to career and this feels career oriented these cards so um yeah do it <laughs> virgo service i feel good when i can help others so maybe it's um, even changing jobs it might be and then we have blame. I accept responsibility for my well-being. So it can be really easy to blame others, especially when they've hurt us or they've done something that we just don't agree with. And it's like, they're the reason I feel this way. And of course, like their actions are not nice at times or they, they are being hurtful. Um, but I feel like spirit's asking you to take your power back, right? Um, how much control does someone else have over your emotions? We have a new start is coming and your hard work is paying off. I don't know why this feels like a, a it took a turn into a career reading because you might be like, all right, I'm over the love. Like, just tell me about career. You might have even said that in the reading as it was happening and spirit heard you because this feels like a new start is coming. Your hard work is paying off. That's Capricorn energy. Um, take action. Take that leap of faith because it's going to really benefit you. We got breathe, number 29. They said that's it. Okay, so number 29. 29 says, inertia, laziness, and apathy are signs not of slowing down, but of decay and lifelessness. Wake up and do something to shake this off. Go outside for some air. A walk in nature will remind you that all of life is ensouled and magical. Get some exercise, move out of your head and into your body and breathe in deeply. Each breath is precious. Um, patience, waiting, going slowly, wellness, meditation, trust. I feel like I need to read the prosperity message as well because it very came, it came through very strong with the career, so I'll, I will. It says, you have worked long and hard. Your dreams are coming to fruition and you want to hurry things along. You are the slow one moving, you are the slow one moving land guidely, yet still progressing right now, languidly, <laughs> in a rhythm dictated by your authentic nature, the essence of your dream and the will of the universe slow and steady wins this race you will indeed win if you relax stay the course trust your intuition and breathe powerful message there uh virgo so let's see if you still have questions though virgo and you need some more clarity check out my link in the description box for mystic sense there you can connect to a love psychic of your choice and your first five minutes with them are completely free. Okay, I also have some letters and a number here. So these could be initials of you, of this person, maybe numbers you've been seeing, birth dates or significant dates. Just take it as it resonates. If something here doesn't resonate though, it doesn't mean it wasn't your reading. So I didn't pull out the L, but I felt really drawn to pull it out. So there's L, A, K, Q and the number four. 
Okay, Virgo, so I hope something here resonated. If it did, let me know in the comments down below. Please like, share, subscribe if you feel drawn to do so. Thank you so much for all of your beautiful energy. I am sending you so much love and light.